fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. The system of courts in the early western United States was primitive and often the wrong man was arrested, tried and convicted. The mask rider of the plains worked just as hard to protect the innocent as to punish the guilty. And in time, high old silver came to be the battle cry of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the west was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, silver! It's been a hold up near El Dorado! We've got to hurry! In the courtroom at El Dorado, a crowd had gathered for Jed Lynch's trial. Old Josephus Kinney, the chief witness for the prosecution, was on the stand. Silence in this here court. Quiet down or I'll clear the courtroom, Dad Raddit. All right, Fred. Go on, question the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Now then, Mr. Kinney, you say you're a stranger in El Dorado? Hey, what's that? I say you're a stranger here. Don't talk so foolish. There ain't no ranger near. Mr. Kinney, I asked if you was a stranger here. Eh? A stranger here? Why in Tunkin' could you have said that in the first place? Of course I'm a stranger here. <laughs> Doggone, what's the blame funny about the witness being hard hearing? The next idiot that snickers is leaving here pronto. <clears throat> Proceed with the examination. And you was riding the stage to El Dorado on the night of June 13th? Huh? Oh, oh, sure I was. Very well. Now, suppose you tell us in your own words just what happened during that trip. Hey! What happened during the trip? What happened? Well, first off, I bought me a ticket. Then I went down to Little Jim for a snack while I was waiting. No, it wasn't Little Jim, neither. It was... You misunderstand me, Mr. Kinney. What I mean is, tell about the holdup. Uh, just like a lawyer. Can't ask anything straight out like anybody else. No, you got to twist it and turn oh, it. Oh, and... please, please, Mr. Kinney. The witness will confine himself to the questions asked. Shucks, I Mr. wish... Mr. Kinney. All right, Judge, all right. I'm a-getting to it. Well, now, let me see. The hold-up, huh? Well, we was traveling along right smart, maybe about five miles from town, when all of a sudden I heard some shots and the stage pulled up. You was alone inside the stage? I must have been. Wasn't nobody else there. Yes. Uh, yes. Then what happened? Well, then there were some more shots. And I know the outlaws had killed the garden driver. So I got down on my hands and knees and hit on the floor. Go on. I wasn't sticking my nose in where it was wanted. Well, then up rides two fellas on horses holding guns. The one fella got off his horse, clumb on top of the stage, and looked around for the box with the gold in it. Is that fella in the courtroom now? Hey! Do you recognize the man that got the gold? Sure do. That's him sitting right over there. <laughs> Quiet. Mr. Kinney, you was pointing to that man there, Jed Lynch. 
Is that who you meant? That's the fellow. Yes, sir. Uh, now his partner. Did you get to see him? Nope. Uh, not to know him again, anyhow. He just stayed back in the dark and give orders. He seemed to be the boss? That's what he was. Now, if I recollect right, you said you heard Jed there mention the name. Just what did Jed say? Well... Come uh, now, Mr. Kinney. Well, when that fellow there come on top and found the gold, he yelled out, Here it is, Lem. That's all he called his partner? Uh, just Lem? Uh, Try to remember. Uh, he said Lem Mason. You're sure? That's what he said. Your Honor, did you ever hear of any fellow by that name around these parts? Not to my recollection. Oh, no, me neither. Now, Mr. Kinney, do you know anybody by that name? Hey, what about a game? Do you know anybody by the name of Lem Mason? Can't you talk about a whisper? Lem Mason, Lem Mason. Do you know anybody by that name? I don't know what's the matter, mister. I don't seem to be able to hear a word you're saying. <laughs> That's enough. Clear the courtroom, Sheriff. If these here laughing hyenas can't behave themselves... They can get on about the business. Clear the courtroom. Come on, Tonto. He'll be coming out of the courtroom in a moment. Uh, Come on, Get him up, Scout. Tonto, that old fellow said Jed's partner was a man called Lem Mason. Uh, Mason Fuller live other side state? He's evidently not known around here. It's hard to believe that he's an outlaw. Mason isn't wealthy, but he has a small ranch which earns him enough for a living. Of course, he might have turned outlaw. You tell Lawman about Lem Mason? Perhaps, but not now. I'd rather investigate first myself. Uh, you know, Kimasabi, I have an idea that Kinney is acquainted with Mason, too. Why you think that? Did you notice how hard of hearing he got when he was asked if he knew anybody by that name? <laughs> it looked to me as though he didn't want to understand the question. Maybe him not tell truth about name. I doubt that, Tato. He seemed sincere enough. Even though it was obvious, he didn't like telling it. Uh, that right. There's a clear case against Jed. He'll be convicted. But from the testimony, it's plain that he was only the other man's tool. And until that man is caught, the law will not be satisfied. What we do? There's only one thing we can do, Tonto. Ride to Mason's ranch. Oh, that long way. But if Mason is guilty, he should be brought here to face trial. That's right. And if he isn't, we want to clear him before the law in El Dorado finds out there is such a man and takes steps to arrest him. We go now? Yes, and we better travel fast. Hail, Get him up, Scott. Away! Two days of hard riding brought the masked man and Tonto to Gainesport, the town nearest Lem Mason's ranch. There, obeying the Lone Ranger's instructions, Tonto asked questions of Lem's neighbors. On the evening of the third day, he and the masked man called on Mason himself. There he is, Tonto, by the corrals. Ah, uh, that him all right. And he's alone. Good. Hey, who's there? Uh, him see us. Hello there. You ain't Dick, are you? A masked man and a redskin. Oh, 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 please. Don't slap another Mason. Outlaws. Not outlaws. Well, then what are you We're doing? We're here to find out if you're an outlaw. Eh, well, if I'm an outlaw. See, what the same... You know a man named Kinney? Old Josephus? Right. Well, sure I know him. Cook for me, didn't he? Where do you get off at saying that I'm I an outlaw? I haven't accused you of anything, but Kinney has. What? Ten days ago, he was on a stage headed for El Dorado. The stage was held up, the guard and driver killed, and a cargo of gold stolen. There were two outlaws. One was identified by sight. And Kinney has testified the other was you. You're loco. That was Kinney's testimony in court. Why, the ungrateful old reprobate. And I thought him and me was friends. Even if I did have to let him go on account of I couldn't afford his wages no more. Look here. Are you sure he said he's seen me? He didn't say that. He heard your name mentioned. Deep as he is? Why, shucks, he It couldn't... isn't impossible, Mason. The outlaws thought they were alone. The one man was on top of the stage, the other a little distance away. Kinney says the name was called out. And he's not telling the truth. Tonto has been asking questions about you, Mason. The engine? Yes. Your neighbors say that about a week and a half ago, you were away from home for several days. I was in San Antonio. And you prove it? Well, I... What were you doing there? I went to see a cattle buyer about getting rid of some of my stock. My range has been so burned up, I can't graze all I got. The man I wanted to see was out of town. So I reckon if you want proof, I can't give it to you. I'm not the law, Mason. Well, that's plain enough. But sooner or later, the law will find out about you. And when it does, you're going to have a hard time of it. I can't help it, none. I didn't hold up no stage and I didn't do no killing. Are you willing to go to El Dorado with me? And be tried for something I didn't do? Not by a blame sight. Mason, you're going whether you want to or not. You can't make I'm me... not sure you're guilty. In fact, I doubt it. And I have an idea what may have happened. You ain't got no authority to make me go anyplace. I won't turn you over to the law until I've found out whether my idea is right or not. I tell you, I ain't going. You're going, Mason, because if you are guilty, and I left you behind, you'd make your escape now that you've been warned. I'll show no, you. you don't. Blast you if you hadn't outdrawn me. We've wasted enough time talking. I'll give you a chance to arrange for the care of your ranch. Then we're riding, and we're riding to El Dorado. <laughs> Lem 
Lem Mason was forced to accompany the Lone Ranger and Tonto when they rode back to their camp outside El Dorado. It was not long before Lem changed his mind about the masked man's character. I've been thinking it over, stranger. First off, I'd like you to know I've changed my mind about you and the engine. Yes? When you made me come with you, I figured you was crooks up to some game of your own. But since then, I've been listening and watching. And I'm free to say if you're crooks, and I sure ain't no judge of human nature. Thanks, Mason. And I can see your point. You couldn't leave me behind to run away if I was a crook. Besides the things you said, I guess they didn't all you had in mind. You believe I had another reason for bringing you here? <laughs> you didn't want the law getting a hold of me and railroad me to jail till you were sure in your own mind about me being guilty. Ain't that so? It is. <laughs> Good enough. But what I'm wondering about is that idea you said you had. Any objection to let me in on it? I'd rather not tell you until I've made certain. Well, when'll that be? Tonight, I hope. Here, Silver. You leave? I'm going into town, Tonto. You and Mason will stay here. But what do you... Yep. And when I get back, Mason, I think you'll understand my plan. Come on, Silver. Thaddeus Powell, the judge, Clem Wilson, the sheriff, and old Josephus Kinney were seated in the sheriff's office. Behind them, down a short corridor, was the cell which held Jed Lynch, the convicted murderer and thief. Clem, this blame case has got me worried. Well, it's bothering you, Judge. Well, Josephus here give evidence against Jed's partner. That'd be all right if we knew where to lay hands on him. But we can't. We don't even know who he is. So what's to prevent him laying for Josephus somehow and drilling him so as he can't testify again. Without that testimony, we couldn't get a conviction, even if we caught him. You fellas talking about me? The judge is worrying about you, mister. <laughs> Ain't no call for that. Man and boy, I took right good care of myself for close to 70 years. Sure, and with me to see you don't come to no harm, you ought to be good for another 70. <laughs> Clem, uh, what have you been doing to locate that Mason fella? Everything possible, Judge. I writ every sheriff round about, and I got all my deputies out making inquiries. Honey, we can't make Jed talk. If you let me handle him the way I want... No, nope. can't stand for that. Taint legal. There sure won't be no way of making him speak up after he's stretched him. Uh-huh. That's just why I put off his hanging for so long when I pronounced sentence. It's just another week. A man waiting to be hung can do a heap of thinking in a week's time. Jed, think? <laughs> He ain't even got the brains to worry about it. Well, the doggone idiot ain't even lost his appetite. Uh, that one of your deputies rode up, Clem? You know, maybe it's... Might you. be one of them's got news of that Mason fella. Huh? Eh? What's that? Who? What the... One masked fella! Don't move. By heaven... Keep your hands up, Sheriff. You! There. That's better. Are you armed, Judge? If I was, you'd have been drilled. Perhaps. Now, Sheriff, stand up. Right. I said stand up. What's this all about? You'll know in a moment. I'll just take your guns. There. That takes care of you. Now, the rest of you, stand up and face around. If you ever come up for sentence in my... Court, I don't expect to. Tell Kinney to get up. You'll have to get up to it, Josephus. Huh? Stand up. Stand up. Funny, all you fellas have to mumble to yourself. All right. Now walk ahead of me, all of you. But I... You, sure, we're going to unlock Jed's cell. Hurry. You're afraid of that crook? I'm taking him with me. Jed, it's him. The masked fellas, him. Lem Mason. You're wrong. This is why Jed was worrying. He knew you'd let him out. What's that about me? Your partner's come for you, Jed. But by thunder, I'll have you both back and behind bars before I'm through, or I'll turn in my badge. My partner? Unlock the door. I'll unlock it. But you heard what I promised, and I don't go back on my word. I'm free? Not free, Jed. The only difference is that now you're my prisoner. Don't try to follow us, Sheriff. Come on, Jed. But wait a come minute. Come on. You three, stay right where you are. Just wait, stranger. Your time will come, and I'll hang both of you. Out that door, Jed. Where are you taking me? You'll learn soon enough. Is that your horse? It is. Get in the saddle. What, Did you hear me? I heard you. Steady there, old fellow. <laughs> Jed, the law couldn't make you talk, but I'm not the law, and I will. Hail Silver! Away! <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the law at El Dorado was unable to find Jed Lynch's partner in crime, the Lone Ranger forced the sheriff to release the outlaw. Then the masked man took Jed to the well-hidden camp where Tonto and Lem Mason waited. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Get down, Jed. No, wait. Look here. I'm just quiet. Hey, who's this fellow you brought back with you? Mason, this is Jed Lynch. The hell I was supposed to help rob the stage? Right. You were supposed to what? Say, who are you? Never mind that now. Tonto. Uh, you want me? Then here has stood trial, been convicted and sentenced to be hung for murder and robbery. Oh. What's that to you? You'll soon see, Jed. Tonto, we had a partner. A partner even more guilty than he is. Because his partner gave the orders. Tonto, know that. Jed has been in jail, but he's refused to tell where his partner could be found. The law could only ask him to talk, not make him. Oh. Hey, what in tarnation I'm you... turning him over to you, Tonto. You will make him talk. I've heard that Indians have more effective methods than white men to force prisoners to talk. Wait, you can't do that. You got to... Tonto, make him talk. No, no, listen. You come, Mr. Tonto. The following day, the sheriff dismissed his posse after an unsuccessful search for Jed and the Lone Ranger. Thanks for your help, fellas. Well, it's your fault we couldn't find them skunks. If I get a lead to where they be, we'll go after them again. Good day to you. Yes, that mask fella. He's sure the slickest one for covering a trail I ever seen. Don't know where he could have got to. Well, there's other things to tend to now. We'd better be getting at them before something else comes up. Hi, Sheriff! Huh? Oh, it's you, Bill. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. What's oh. been keeping you, anyhow? Oh. I looked for you back yesterday, and today I needed you for a posse. Uh, Sheriff, I found Lem Mason. What? It's a fact, sir. Help me. You, you found Lem Mason? Well, uh, maybe not exactly that, but to know where he lives, that's more than anybody else been able to find out. Where's that? Over near Gainesport. He's got a small spread there. You ain't mistaken. Can't be no mistake. I ran into old Bert Norris, south of here. Yeah? He gets around a lot, so I figured maybe he might have heard the name before. I asked him, and sure enough, he had. And that ain't all. That's enough, by thunder. We'll now, find... Just hold your horses, Clem. You know who used to work for him? Well? That default geezer, Josephus Kinney. You're crazy. No, I ain't neither. Well, I'll be doggone, the blasted old fake. Couldn't hear nothing when he was asked if he knew anybody by that name, eh? Being slick, that's what he was. Well, if he was stone deep, he'd hear what I'm going to tell him. And then first thing tomorrow, we're riding to Gainesport and show them, Mason, what happens to coyotes that rob and murder. You say the sheriff's found out about Mason? That's right. And he's riding to his ranch tomorrow? That's what people in town say. That means we'll have to act tonight? Huh. Mason! You want me? I've told you what you might have to do. Are you still willing? I am, Matt. Tonight? Anytime you say. I'm trusting you the whole way. You have my word that if anything goes wrong, you'll not suffer for it. That's good enough for me. Tonto, you'll have to remain in camp and guard Jed. Mm, me watch him. Hey, you ain't gonna leave me alone with a redskin, are you? I am. But I don't trust him. There's no telling what he'll do. Look here, my life ain't safe with that low-down black What range. you call Tonto? Oh, I didn't mean nothing, redskin. I was just joking. Uh, uh, That's your horse, Mason. Uh, It'll be dark by the time we reach El Dorado. I'll be with you in a second. Here, Silver. You take care. I will, Tonto. Ready, Mason? Anytime you give the word. Then let's go. Hail, Silver! Away! Fred Mills' house. A lawyer? Yes. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 there. Oh, oh. Come on. He's still up. There's a light inside. Yeah. I don't expect gunplay, but if there is, let me handle it. Uh-huh. That's you, Wilson. This isn't the sheriff. Open the door. Who is it? And a, a masked man. Right. Well, what That's do you the want? address for riding. Good, you're coming with us. I'm what? Come on, we're not stopping to talk now. We've got another call to make. Well, where are you taking to me? Just Powell's home. Hurry. Come on, come on. What 
What's the meaning of this? Keep your voice down. Now, get inside. In with you. Come on, Mason. Fred, what's this about? The crook that took Jed from jail. What's he doing here? Don't ask me, Judge. Close the door. Yeah. We've got some talking to do. This is preposterous. You can't... Wait till you hear what I have to say before you decide. But you Listen can't... to me. Judge Powell, you want the man who helped Jed rob the stage and kill the driver and guard. And you're that man. I'm not. You are... Tomorrow, you're going to reopen the trial. You're out of your head. Reopen the trial? What in thunder fur? There ain't no need of that unless you're willing to go on trial, which I doubt. And Jed's already been tried and sentenced. Even if you did break jail and let him go free. Jed isn't free. I still have him. Huh? What's more, I'll see that he's brought back. I don't believe you. That doesn't matter. That still don't give us no reason for reopening the trial. You could if Lem Mason surrendered, couldn't you? <laughs> Trying to tell us you're going to give yourself up? This man here is Lem Mason. Huh? Now what's that? He is. If you doubt it, he can show you identification. And he'll surrender himself tonight. Is that true? I'm Lem Mason. I got all the proof of that you can ask for. I'll have to see that proof. You will. The masked fellow made me bring it with me. And you're giving yourself up? If the masked fellow says so, I am. Well, uh, by thunder, then, either you're loco or I am. What a fellow with a case against him like you have wants to go to trial for, I don't know. But I sure can't object to it. Sheriff plan to make a trip after Mason in the morning. You can tell him that won't be necessary. He'll be told, all right. Good. I suppose you want to know why Mason is ready to stand trial. Well, who wouldn't? And listen to me. I'll tell you exactly why he's doing it. Did you hear about it? That fella Lem Mason give himself up. Yeah. Court's set this afternoon, fellas. I'm going early and get me a good seat to see that killer get the sentence he deserves. That's him. There's that Mason fellow sitting right up in front at the table with Fred Mills. Well, what do you say when that old fellow testified again? Where's Jed Lynch? Don't see nothing of him. Quiet down, fellas. The judge is getting ready to open trial. Silence in the courtroom. Silence. All right, now. This here court's in session. It's the people versus Liam Mason. And the defendant is charged with murder and theft. Can you see the witness stand, Kimasabi? Mm hmm. Tell me when Josephus Kinney is called to testify. Him get on stand now. Then it's time to act. You stay here, Tonto. If anything goes wrong, I'll need you to help Mason and me escape. Tonto, do that. All right, Jed. I'm going to take that gag off. But if you make a sound before I tell you to, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Just a moment, I untie this. There. Don't shoot me. That depends on you. Do you understand what you're to do when we get inside the courtroom? I savvy. Very well. Go ahead. But remember... This gun will be right at your back every second. I'll remember. This way, around to the front. Look, mister, why don't you let me go? I'll make it worth your while. Keep going. But this ain't doing you no good. You... Up those steps. Now open the door and walk in. Yeah. Now, Mr. Kinney, let me put that question to you again. Did you or did you... Hey, not... look! A masked man! Where did Jed Lynch? Where did they come from? Stop that noise. Stop it, I tell you. They pull back in their seats. But, Judge, it's the mass, fella. Do like you told me. Sit down, folks. Sit down again or clear out. Now then, you two, you're under arrest. Stand back. You heard me put up your hands. Wait. Don't you... punish the chair. Who's run this here court? You or me? But, Judge, yes, he's... The masked man's here because I told him to come. You told him. Silence, blasted. Now, go ahead, mass fella. You said you had something you want to try. I have. All right, Jed. Get closer to the witness. There. Now you're just about as far from Josephus as you were the night of the robbery. Jed, what in blazes kind of foolishness is this? Don't be interrupting, Sheriff. Now then, Jed, you're going to repeat the same words you used that night and in the same tone of voice. But I... Remember this gun. All right, blast it. Go on. It's here. You call louder than that. Try again. It's here, Clem. Hey, Wilson, it's here. That's it. That's what I heard him say. Lem Mason. But he didn't. He said Clem Wilson. The old fellow was wrong. It was the Sheriff Jed yelled there that night. Get the Sheriff. He's making a break. I'll get him. One time. Get away. Stand clear. You're through, Sheriff. You. Oh, my arm. Let go of me. Deputy, you can take turn to the Sheriff. I'll do that same. All right, Sheriff. Try to get away again, and I'll drill you. How'd you find out, Judge? Now, Tell us folks, about it. I'm free to admit the masked man explained the whole thing to me last night. But I wouldn't believe it. What did he say, Judge? Oh, shucks. Let him tell you about it. Kinney made his mistake because he's hard of hearing. 
The two names sound very much the same, Lem Mason and Clem Wilson. But Wilson was a stranger to Kinney, and Mason wasn't. Well, you mean that... I mean that when Jed called out from the top of the stage, Kinney associated the sound with the name he was familiar but with. But you got the truth from Jed. Why didn't you let him testify in court? You should know why I didn't. In the first place, neither you or the judge believed me when I told you what must have happened. Well, I don't know... In the know second that... place, the only way I could frighten Jed into telling the truth was to keep him in my hands. I did the only thing possible. But how'd you get on to this, stranger? I didn't until Mason told me that Kinney had formerly cooked for him. And I realized how much alike the two names were and understood why Kinney made his mistake. You'll be sorry for this. Nothing you can do about it in jail, Sheriff. And, Sheriff, you've got my words you're going to swing for this. I'll wager you've been behind half the crimes around here. Hey, where's that mask, fella? Just went outside, Judge. Silver. He called his horse Silver. Well, I'll be... Blast you, Jed. Why'd you go shooting off your mouth? What else could I do with a masked fella holding a gun in my bag? He was just bluffing. Bluffing? You're local. Yeah? Well, you blasted idiot. That fella don't ever shoot to kill. That's the Lone Ranger. Come on, Silver, old boy. Outlaws of Brandon Morgan City. Someone's waiting on the trail ahead. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated.